today's lesson toilet bowl cleaner in this lesson we are going to learn definition of toilet bowl cleaner components present in the cleaner and finally role of different components in cleaning toilet bowl and in killing germs so let's begin the first point is definition of toilet bowl cleaner solution of chemicals solution of chemicals that is designed specially for cleaning toilet bowl is called toilet bowl cleaner now let's see different components present in toilet bowl cleaner components present in toilet bowl cleaner first of all water this is main solvent number two sodium hydroxide this is used as grease solvent that means caustic soda dissolves fats and oils or simply called lipids number three sodium hypochlorite its name is sodium hypochlorite it is used as stains remover and to kill germs number four phenol its name is carbolic acid this component is used to remove bad smell that means it is used as deodoring substance and it is used as disinfectant number five sodium lauryl sulfate c12 h25 so4 n a it's a kind of detergent sodium lauryl sulfate it is used as surfactant that means surface active material number six dye this is used as dyeing agent in toilet bowl cleaner now let's see roll of different components in cleaning toilet bowl and in killing germs now the point is role of sodium hydroxide to remove dirt that means role of sodium hydroxide to clean toilet bowl here first of all we have to know what is dirt because sodium hydroxide removes dirt now let's try to learn about dirt dirt is fats or oils which are together called lipids that is left from our body this is actually dirt sodium hydroxide removes these lipids now let's see the general formula of lipids ch2 o c o r ch2 o c o r ch2 o c o r this is the general formula of fats or oils that means this is the general formula of lipids here r is big alkyl group here r may be c15 h31 or c17 h31 or c18 
सी सेवेंटीन एच थार्टी थ्री और सी सेवेंटीन एच थार्टी फाइव हियर दिस एल्काइल ग्रुप इज सेचुरेटेड एल्काइल ग्रुप बिकॉज इन दिस केस नंबर ऑफ हाइड्रोजन एटम्स इज वन मोर देन द डबल ऑफ द नंबर ऑफ द कार्बन एटम्स एंड इट्स नेम इज pentadecyl this is unsaturated alkyl group this one is unsaturated alkyl group but this one is again saturated alkyl group its name is heptadecyl when any of the alkyl groups present here then this will be the specific lipid suppose if it is this alkyl group then it will be glyceryl triestearate if this alkyl group is present here then its name will be glyceryl tripalmitate so this is the general formula of fats and oils that means lipids which is known as dart here this dart is non polar organic compound this dart is non polar organic compound in this group polarity is developed but alkyl group is electron donating group that is why this polarity is diminished ultimately we can say that lipids are non polar organic compound number 2 water is polar this is water hydrogen's electronegativity is 2.1 oxygen's electronegativity 3.5 that is why electron cloud moves towards oxygen oxygen gets negatively charged hydrogen gets positively charged because of this electronegativity difference water molecules become polar this is non polar organic compound but hydrogen is polar compound that is why polar compound water cannot remove non polar compound lipid for this reason dart cannot be removed only flowing water we need toilet bowl cleaner to remove dart this can be explained in this way sodium hydroxide present in toilet bowl cleaner reacts with lipids in this way sodium hydroxide plus fats or oils ch2o co c17 h35 cho co c17 h35 सीएस टू ओ सी ओ सी सेवेंटीन एच थर्टी फाइव दिस इज ए काइंड ऑफ लिपिड नेम्ड ग्लिसरिल ट्राई स्टेट दिस सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड द मेजर कंपोनेंट ऑफ टॉयलेट बोल क्लीनर रिएक्ट विथ दिस लिपिड एंड this lipid converts to glycerol and sodium stearate it's a kind of soap the major component of toilet bowl cleaner reacts with this dart and converts to 
glycerol and sodium stearate this is glycerol now this one is polar compound this is also polar compound now these polar compounds are removed by the flow of water in this way sodium hydroxide removes dirt from the surface of the toilet bowl now let's see role of sodium hypochlorite in killing germs and to remove stains from the toilet bowl now the point is role of sodium hypochlorite to remove stains stains may be created on the surface of the toilet bowl for the presence of the minerals of hard water when this sodium hypochlorite is used in the toilet bowl cleaner it dissociates and sodium chloride and oxygen is formed this is atomic oxygen before forming oxygen molecule extremely reactive oxygen atom which is called nascent oxygen this nascent oxygen reacts with stains and ultimately the stains removed through the oxidation process sodium hypochlorite removes stains from the surface of the toilet bowl now let's see the role of sodium hypochlorite in killing germs the nascent oxygen attacks the proteins of bacteria at one stage the cell wall of bacteria is destroyed and ultimately bacteria is died sodium hypochlorite acts as a stain remover and germs killer the germs may be coli and shigella bacteria hepatitis a virus etc one study said that toilet bowl contains 3.2 million bacteria per square inch here sodium hypochlorite plays an important role to kill the germs this is all about toilet bowl cleaner no more today thank you very much